All right, welcome back to the hot corner. My name is Steve and thank you again for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, I just want to ask you real quick to hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell as well and also share this channel. It'll help me get words out what I feel like the Lord is putting on my heart to speak about. So thank you for that. Tonight I do have a word from the Lord uh, that was a bit concerning to me. Uh, it was powerful. I'll put it that way. It was powerful the way it came across today. I prayed into it and I prayed for certain things regarding the word that he's spoken to me, things that he has revealed that he is getting ready to do. Um, this may or may not be a surprise to some people. And uh, tonight's topic has to do with the area of worship and our what we've made worship to be, and in particular, uh, the hearts, where our hearts are as far as worship goes. Uh, this is an exhortation. This is a direct word to the worship community. As you know, um, many people have different views of the worship community. And you have to actually go back to the definition, uh, definition of what is worship. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have worship. We have the um, Christian genre, music genre. We have the praise and worship music, music genre. We have inspirational, Christian-based inspirational sort of music. Um, and so Christian music in has a big umbrella really is a big umbrella. Worship is a big umbrella. And so if you've studied worship and know what worship is, you'll know that you'll, you'll easily recognize that a lot of what is being played these days, what is being written um, and played on for the radio, for the masses, is not really worship music. It is a combination of styles and uh, topics, perspectives. Some of it's internally Focus. Some of it's externally focused. Some is heavenly focus, which is which is praise and worship. So, but I have an exhortation tonight. I have a direct message to this um, worship community. I'll use that use that word kind of loosely because a lot of us are involved in worship in some aspect or another. But I believe the Lord is really just wanting to deal with hearts. He wants to convict some people. And he wants to deal with hearts on some of these topics. So I'll get into it without any further delay. What I heard directly today, he's cutting off all obsessions with worship bands and worship leaders. That's huge right there. He's cutting off all obsessions with worship bands and worship leaders in particular. When shaking comes, it will also include the worship music industry and culture. They will not be exempted from his shaking. Worship leaders will be convicted and or removed if there is no repentance. If your worship, so he's speaking a direct word to worship leaders here. He is going to convict your, your hearts and if you don't yield to that, he will remove you if there is no repentance. And I'm going to get into repentance from what? If your worship is tied to a contract or paycheck, you are most vulnerable to an ungodly attachment and importance. And so I believe he's speaking directly to the worship business, worship music business the business side of worship music and Christian genre in general. It is a it is turned into a business. But mainly, if your heart in worship is tied to a paycheck or a contract or a way to make a li living, <clears throat> he is going to shake you. Because he wants to know where your heart is. He wants you to realize where your heart is. And he's going to make some corrections and adjustments in the coming days. 
He's these he's take, he's ta- still talking about worship leaders and those who are um, whose worth is tied to a contract or paycheck. These will be held most accountable as the shaking begins. Hearts will be exposed. If your heart is married to a paycheck or contract, you will be convicted and ultimately sifted. If your heart is tied to Jesus, you will be blessed. The industry and genre will experience much shaking soon. And this really is an exhortation and a prophetic warning to those who would exploit the kingdom for a dollar. Understand this is addressing what is known as the Christian slash evangelical slash worship slash praise business. He is also cutting off the body from the stage. I felt that strongly in worship this morning, as if a divider was as he was as as if he was placing a divider between what's on the stage and what's in the congregation. I'm not sure I need to expound much on that one though, because but suffice to say he is dealing with this ungodly focus and attachment. I'm not saying everybody has this. He wasn't saying everybody has it, but he is going to deal with it where he finds it. I believe this is all preparation for the body to focus on him with our worship instead of focusing on the stage. You may not believe this is an issue for you or your church, and it may not be, but only he knows and will begin to cut ungodly worship attachments from you and from the rest of the body. So, strong word, that is the entirety of the word that I got. And so this may be difficult for some to hear, particularly those who have made a living of, particularly those who have made a living in this area before. And um, he's going to check hearts. He is checking hearts. And so that's all I can say at this point. So, that's it. I feel like it's hap- going to happen pretty soon. I don't have a timeline. I wouldn't even guess a timeline because he's revealed stuff to me that hasn't happened for a couple years before. So, I don't know when it's going to happen, but it did seem like there was an urgency on this because of how worship is viewed. Uh, it is viewed at times through a consumerist mentality. We like consume worship instead of giving worship to where where worship is due and that is to the king of kings the lord of lords the one and only jesus christ and so are we consumers of worship or are we are we lifting worship are we pushing our worship to heaven are we lifting our worship to heaven our voices and our songs so that's it okay Thank you very much, and love to get some feedback from y'all in the comments on this one. Uh, This is raw, it's fresh, and uh, I hope I did a good job with it. But he is definitely, definitely seems like the Lord is starting to work, or going to work, or maybe already is working on our engagement in worship. What What does it mean to us? Where are our hearts? Are we consumers of worship? So that's it. All right. Thank you so much for helping the channel out. Thank you for sharing this channel and subscribing if you would. And uh, that's it. Take care. I will release more as he gives me more. But for now, that's it. All right. Be blessed. Have a great night.